the client sent you? The messages you were sending caused the client a certain amount of consternation. So they sent me in. You can call me Ashley. Does this client have a name? To you? No. Oh. Sorry I asked. Corey, you're sure you turned out all the lights in the upper stories? I didn't turn any lights on to begin with. Who does you know who think I am? A teenager. Not the most reliable demographic. Which is what I argued when you were contracted. And how old are you? Twenty? Maybe? I'm not at liberty to discuss my personal details. Not at liberty? Not inclined to do so, if you prefer. Point is, it's needed to know, and you don't. Haven't gotten very far, have you? Any clarification you'd be at liberty to provide would be fantastic. Corey, you didn't tell them about the Black Files? Talk about you had one job. I did, but as you might have noticed from a quick gander around, there are rather a lot of them. Don't suppose you brought a hand truck, dolly, team of exquisitely trained Canadian sled dogs? Most of the files are empty. See? Oh. Wish we'd known that a little bit sooner. Have any of you been upstairs since you started sending those messages, Corey? No, we've just been trying to... Well, we were trying to sort through the files. My team's been delayed, but I'm going to go scout through the floors to see what's going on. Are you sure that's safe? Why would that matter? Um, okay. Good luck with your scouting. Hope you get all the merit badges. Tommy, seriously? How about if you three just pack up those files and I'll go have a look around? I'll come with you. You? Please. You have no skills, no training, and no stomach for this line of work for all I know. Why don't you just put the happy little files in the happy little boxes? Okay? Are you seriously telling me you couldn't use a second pair of eyes? Skills, training, okay, fair enough. You're right about that. But I don't need any of that to be able to see. Are you sure you won't scream? No, that'd be Tommy. Hey! What? You did scream. Fine. Tweedledee, Tweedledum, you box up the black files, the not empty ones. Corey, just stay behind me. Hopefully you can listen as well as see. I'm a veritable prodigy that way. Hang here. We'll be back soon. Hang in there. We'll be back soon. She shows up out of nowhere and five seconds later he's off like a shot. To investigate the creepy attic with the slamming doors and the weird lights. Did you want to join them? Nah. I'm good. Because I'm sure I could box up the rest of these by myself. I said I'm good. <laughs> okay, okay. Are you finding more of them? This box is just all full of empty files. Wait, there's one in here. Tucked with the others. If we weren't going through these one by one, I could have missed it. What's it about? Aren't we supposed to be boxing most of these up quickly? I'll go through them. But if you read it, I'm sure it'll make this go faster. So you're saying you want to do the hard work while I read you a story? Why not, right? I don't think Corey and Ashley are going to be back anytime soon. This house is huge. Alrighty then. <clears throat> Once, oh, best beloved, there was an ice skater, and her name was Enora Petrov. Aw, breakfast? You're the sweetest. Hey, I know how hard you work at practice. Wow, I might actually have time to check my email for a change. It's been like a week. Go on then. Pfft, I doubt there'll be anything there. The only people I know see me on a daily basis. What'd be the point? You actually have something? Yeah, but it's... it's from this girl I used to know. Honora. The subject is... Bree. Please don't delete this. Old friend? Not exactly. Oh well, into the trash folder with you. Guess she had your response figured. After what she... Uh, yeah, you could say that. Why not read it? See what she has to say. Are you going to tell me that people change? How will you know if you don't give them a chance? <sighs> Alright, but I'm probably just going to delete it without replying anyways. 
I know after what happened, you must totally hate me, and I don't blame you, but I think I'm in real trouble. She's asking you for help. Why not just call the police? I don't know. I'd be like the last person she should ever be asking for anything. What happened to you wasn't my fault. At least not entirely, and I need for you to know what happened. I know you probably won't believe me, but I need you to know anyway. God, didn't I say to leave me alone? I'm sorry, sweetie, but dinner's ready, and just I thought... I'll be down when I'm ready, Mom. Jeez. Okay. Sorry. How hard is it to just leave me alone? When we were in the 8th grade, remember the Crystal Classic? I'll never forget it. It was my first big competition. The night before, I was so nervous. I just shut myself in my bedroom and started surfing the web. Annie... Petrov. I never should have done a web search for my own name. I know that now. But it just all seemed so harmless. Just pictures I'd posted, mentions from the local paper, that kind of thing. That was when I found the Wikipedia entry with my name. Who wouldn't have looked? Well... Dad, you really think I'm gonna win tomorrow? Of course, sweetie. But even if you don't win, Annie, just know that we're proud of you. You've worked so hard for this. But that Wikipedia page... Dad, you updated it to say that I won. Not that I will win it, but like I already did. I feel so confident now, like I know I can do it. I didn't even know you knew what a Wikipedia was. That's, uh, one of those social media signs, right? Are you serious? But I thought... Mom? I'm sorry, honey. Guess you must have a real fan rooting for you. Yeah, I guess. Annie, are you sure you don't want some dinner? You're not going to do yourself any favors starving yourself. Okay, I guess. When I did win that Crystal Classic the next day, I was so happy. I'm so proud of you. Are you sure? I thought my last toe loop was kind of sloppy. Of course I'm sure. I've never been prouder of you. See, dedicated effort really will take you places. And to that end, Annie, there's actually someone we'd like you to meet. Привет, девушка Анора. Oh my god. Oh my god, I know you. You're Sergey Polokiev. And you are a smart cookie, Anora. But are you tough as well? I never cry when I fall. Ever. It's good. I do not waste time with anything but the best. Wait, are you going to be my coach? Da, your parents hire me. But it is you who will be paying. Are you ready for hard work? Yes! Because skating is harder than ice we skate on. Career is over by 24, 25 years old. So we have no time for games. I'm ready. I can work hard, I promise. Very good. I was so happy. When I think about how much that must have cost, you knew my parents. They never denied me anything. But I don't think it was a coincidence that my mom started working longer hours then. Or that I barely saw my dad except at competitions. They believed in me more than I ever believed in myself. After the Crystal Classic, I checked the Wikipedia page before every competition, and it was never wrong. Whoever was updating it somehow always knew that would happen, how I'd place. Annie, sweetie, Bree's here to see you. Hang on a sec. Bree! Hey, you do remember me. Oh, ha ha. You girls let me know if you need anything. Where have you been? I haven't seen you in weeks. Mom and Dad pulled me out of school. 
For reals? Yeah, I have a tutor now, Miss Seckworth. She's really mean. Aw, that sucks. Can't you just come back? I mean, I could, but then I wouldn't have as much time to practice. Sergei says I need to spend every spare second I have practicing. Yeah, I guess. Look at it. Aren't they all beautiful? Even the fifth place ribbon from the Winter Open? <laughs> no, I threw that manky old thing away ages ago. Oh. Can you imagine though? Gold medal. Wouldn't that look sick in there? Think you'll make it to the Olympics? Sergei says I need to work harder, but he has full confidence in me. That's the way he says it. Full confidence, Dabushka. Wow, that sounds rough. He's just trying to bring out the best in me. Besides, I have a secret weapon. What's that supposed to mean? Can't tell ya, but I think you'll see it at sectionals. Some people are saying I'm gonna win sectionals. Oh, I'm sure you'll do great. You're an awesome skater, Bree. I just really hope we can stay friends afterwards, no matter which one of us wins. Deal. I wish it could have been like that. I wish I could have just let it go. But I was obsessed. I needed to win. Even against you. Even though you didn't have a coach, or a tutor, or parents bending over backwards to help you, I needed to beat you. It was easy enough to make a Wikipedia account, so I figured it'd be easy enough to edit the page. There wasn't even an entry up for recitals yet. All I did was just type one sentence. Sectionals event winner. And save. Annie Petrov is a selfish little girl who's going to get exactly what she deserves. <gasps> what? I couldn't understand. The only changes to the site registered were mine, but each time I tried to save the update, the same thing happened. That was why I looked so awful the next day. I was in shock. It didn't make sense, any of it, and that's when I knew I wasn't going to win. But I couldn't imagine how awful things were really going to get. Mom, Dad, I promise you, I didn't do anything to breathe skates. Honey, skate blades don't just snap for no reason. What could I have possibly done to them? All I did was hold them for her, like she asked me to. No one else so much as touched them, kiddo. You think I did this, don't you? Of course not, Annie. It's just... <sighs> it's complicated, sweetie. It's not complicated. It's the opposite of complicated. I did not do it! I suppose it's all academic now. You're right, Dad. I just have to get back on the ice, shake this all off, and get back to work prepping for nationals. That's not what your father means. You're going to stop me from skating? Is this because the broken bit of the blade hit my head? That was a freak accident! It's not that, Annie. Where's Sergei? I need him to talk more sense into you two, because you're just being crazy right now! Honey, Sergei quit. He quit. He won't be working with you anymore. Fine, I don't need him. I'll just find another coach. No, you won't. Dad, please. This is my dream. It's not us that's making the call. It's the Skating Federation. They asked you not to compete from now on. I've been banned? Try to see it in a positive light. We're going to have lots more time together as a family. We could take a real vacation now. With your skating schedule, we never could have done that before. How can I be banned? No one even asked for my side of the story! Annie, sweetheart, there wasn't anyone else it could have been. Bree, it was Bree. Of course it was. She's been jealous of me ever since we were five. She couldn't stand to see. No, I get it, sweetie. You're upset, but this is where I draw the line. Bree has been nothing but a wonderful friend to you, and she's been gracious as things have gone your way. But I'm not going to sit idly by and let you blame everyone else for your problems. If you don't learn to take responsibility for your actions... But Mom, I didn't. I can't believe you think... 
There now, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna figure a way through this. That was it. The beginning of the end. I guess you probably heard that Sergei said I ruined him. He made sure to tell everyone, so they wouldn't think he'd encourage me to do it. Even though my skating career was done, the webpage kept changing, saying the most awful things about me. I made a complaint to the Wikipedia admins, but they all said they didn't have a record of the page existing to begin with. And then that Friday night, when my parents were coming home, it changed again. Annie Petrov is a pathetic little orphan. No. No, no, no. No. Come on, Mom. Pick up. Pick up. Mom, it's me. Something bad's happening. You have to... <laughs> Who is this? No, come on. Dad, pick up. Dad, you have to help Mom. She... <laughs> Who is this? What did you do to my parents? I must have called a hundred times, until I couldn't take the sound of that creepy laughter anymore. But after the accident, when the police gave Mom and Dad cell phones to me, there wasn't any record I'd ever called. Even the phone company record said they hadn't received a single phone call that night. Mom? <laughs> how alone I'd been until I lost mom and dad. Before all that happened, I'd had skating to keep me busy. And then in one week, everything was just... gone. Even you. I got the settlement money from the accident when I was 18, moved to Europe. I started using a new name, and my career actually started taking off. I'm even supposed to audition for a nice circus thingy tomorrow, even though that's the kind of thing we used to look down on. But I don't care. I just wanted to skate, and that's why I shouldn't have done it. <laughs> I was so nervous, I wasn't even thinking about it as I was typing. It was just an old habit, a reflex. I guess I just wanted to see if I'd get the job tomorrow, but instead all it says now is Annie Petrov died friendless and alone. The date is today. I sent you a screenshot so you know I'm not lying. No one here speaks English. There are only a few minutes left before midnight. I keep refreshing the page. I'm so scared, Bree. I'm so exhausted. But I can't. I have to know what happens next. That's just... it. When did she send it? Three days ago. Honora Annie Petrov. Born in Portland, Oregon to Mikhail Petrov and Nancy Snyder Petrov. Died... Died in Prague. Friendless and alone. What the heck is that? Her Wikipedia page. I just searched and... Here it is. So what? It was probably that friend of hers. Of anything we found down here, that one's the most believable. You think something was... I think some one was bullying her. Awful true. Tommy! Wonder what they found. Well, it can't be that interesting if they're yelling to us like that. Shh! What are you- We heard it too. Tommy, where are you? <laughs>